every city in the desert while people are coming. Anywhere else in the world it takes 20 years to set up a functioning community. We did it in months. It is now coming to real life. There's always moments of injustice. People feel that they should get they should get one of these caravans now, now, now. Can you ask her if she has been vaccinated? That they were building a city, he said, now we also will build a city. Their vision and our vision. We'll do an operation to take off uh, at least. Ten months ago there was nothing, there was only dust and since then we have seen a city rising from the dust with all its features, with all its problems and that's where we're trying now with the people to change that, to make it to something more livable, have better space, better hygiene and better management and better relationships. Again, all about relationships. Hello. Very good. Thank you. How are you? Very good. That's okay. I did not meet you yet. I think. No. We have achieved a lot together, but there is still a lot we need to improve every day. And you were the first ones to show me that it is possible to work together on one project. So this is Shabno? Shabno. Uh, we, we are trying to catch it. Yes. Because it's moving in it. It's moving. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. We have it. This. This is the Shabno from a pump. This is his daughter, Neda. I thank us for do this uh, job. And uh, he, she is very happy to see his father. And uh, say thank God. Thank for God. That I see as a problem that you have very little respect for some of the installations, the communal facilities. They're being damaged, people steal what is in there, and so on. So, in my view, these. Uh, the violence related and the uh, vandalism can be solved by resolving the three uh, issues which we mentioned, the issues of caravan, uh, water supply and electricity. If these three issues are uh, solved, uh, there will be no need for uh, police or uh, uh, extraordinary security measures. Of course, we, we are, as you know, for me, uh, the issues of water and having a good water supply is a priority. Finding a way forward on the electricity. And thirdly, to finish the caravan distribution. So these are three projects we're working on. Okay, gentlemen, thank you for receiving us. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. I understand. You know me. <laughs> okay. Thank you. If I if I be back to Syria, I didn't know what will happen for me. But I am uh, sure I will be die. You will be killed? Of course. Of course. Why? Because you helped people there? Because I hel I'm trying to help uh, Syrian people in this camp. I'm still here.
I will stay here until the last Syrian be the last Syrian person back to Syria. Be back to Syria. So what we're seeing is, is um, many more refugees coming across. Uh, wounded, injured, traumatised. It's a very special day today because it's, um, it's World Refugee Day. The administration, if he had received the caravan or not. Tonight we expected 900, but we have had up to 3,000, 4,000 people in one night coming in. Where on earth you have seen children of this age stealing a police station? <laughs> 